Droop Control, also known as the second engine control, is found on all of our tractors featuring the Auto Command transmission. You should be familiar with the Auto Command CVT transmission and should have already watched Operating Auto Command Transmissions video. Understanding droop control can be tricky, but it will make sense after this video. Droop control is simply used to set a limit on the maximum or the minimum engine speed. Settings can be fine-tuned for different applications. In normal operating conditions, the upper engine speed limit can be limited. In PTO mode, the minimum engine speed can be set. So, why might I want to do any of this? One answer, fuel savings. New Holland engines are designed and engineered to provide optimum torque and power, but not at full throttle, around 1800 RPMs. Let's take a look at some of the common applications and what settings we recommend as a starting point. Settings in normal operations, as mentioned, will allow the tractor to operate within a power band you have selected. Using a Genesis T8 series auto command tractor, for tillage applications, such as disking, set your hand throttle at 1200 engine RPMs. The hand throttle setting will represent the minimum engine RPM. The droop control knob should be set to roughly 85%, which is approximately 1800 RPMs. Utilizing the cursor's maximum torque output without losing efficiencies found beyond 1800 RPMs. If a hard spot in the field is encountered, and the tractor cannot maintain the selected ground speed at 1800 RPMs, the tractor will slow from the target ground speed to stay at or below the set limit of 1800 RPM. When the situation improves, the tractor will resume the target ground speed and the engine RPM will slow to continue maximizing fuel savings. In PTO mode, where we want to give power priority to the implement, such as large square balers, instead of priority to the ground speed, New Holland recommends setting the droop at or nearly below the hand throttle setting to maintain PTO speeds. With the hand throttle set to 1750 RPM, we achieve 1000 PTO RPM. In this example, the droop would be set at 1600 RPM or approximately 75%. The tractor will sacrifice forward ground speed instead of PTO speed, enabling you to make consistent, well-shaped bales. Again, in PTO mode, where forward speeds are given power priority over PTO speeds, such as when injecting liquid manure, the droop control knob would be set well below the hand throttle setting. You will once again set the hand throttle to 1750 RPM to achieve 1000 PTO RPM. The droop control setting will be set to 1400 RPM, or approximately 65%. This will enable the tractor to lug and still maintain ground speed. In this example, the PTO speed will slow until the lower base threshold or the droop control setting is crossed and speed is reduced. These examples give operators a good starting point in both understanding and using droop control settings to fine tune tractor operations. Once initial settings are made, operators can change settings on the go based on needs and field conditions. Ultimately, tractor performance and operator expectations will dictate droop control settings. This is New Holland Agriculture. Thank you for watching.